This is Brett Tapke. We're back here again today. Today we got uh, Detlib Johnson. So you, so you go back a ways uh, in the industry. It's always nice to be, meet some of the founders of uh, search marketing, uh, per se. Uh, in fact, we were just sitting here talking quite a bit about some of the old days, how they're looking a lot like the old days in some <laughs> respects these days. That's uh, true. Talking about universal search and how Ask.com has been doing it for several years, somewhat related, and we were both remarked uh, how Alta Vista used to do similar with video and news. Uh, Absolutely. So, yeah. so what do you make all this with universal search today? <laughs> well, it is interesting to me, and uh, certainly that Google is putting eyeballs into some of the other services that they power. So, you know, they've either got them through acquisition or developed them in-house, but ultimately they're just trying to drive traffic to some of the other services that might not get as much of the uh, eyeballs as does web search. And so universal search certainly isn't something new as, you know, we were pontificating. Uh, <laughs> it goes back many years. It's just there's a label for it. And it's because it's the most populous search engine now. Everyone is talking about it now, but sure, it's been happening for years. It's the best way to provide a, an answer to a query. And Google's uh, uh, rather uh, frugal approach to date has possibly gotten in the way of some of the other services and the success of the other services. And I bet you anything in, internally they were. Some of the people who were trying to advocate for the other services were complaining and this was one way to drive them traffic, you know, without even really trying. Mm -hmm. So, because Google up to this point, uh, aside from the search engine, you got Gmail, which is fairly successful, and Google Maps, which I personally think is still their best application to date, even better That's than good. even better than the search engine itself. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, clearly, they're trying to uh, knock the one-hit wonder moniker off uh, any way they can. I, well, I mean the the. The thing that is interesting is that search is the thing that they're most known for and it's really what put them on the map and so if the, so to speak the map app <laughs> uh, definitely maps is an excellent uh, uh, application and and uh, I think, are they calling it Google local now I forget it's either local or it's maps you know they I still go to maps.google.com. <laughs> It'll always resolve there, you know that's true <laughs> yeah I think and so that so it's true that um, such an awesome application as they've got there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, really getting keyhole and putting the satellite imagery over the top was an interesting, cool thing, which made it very, uh, you know, um, how you say, viral, I guess they call it, uh, because people are suddenly looking at satellite, Im satellite images of their rooftops. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, know. they weren't the first ones to do it. No. Yet Microsoft had their Terra yeah. server online 97. Right. So. But with Google being so popular and such a popular destination online, and so it's very easy for them to get you know eyeballs to these applications. Mm -hmm. So much and, like we were talking about. And Google Maps is such a beautiful interface; it's so easy oh. to use that it's just intuitive. The dragging around a uh, application, which was probably one of the first uh, uh, you know dragging around applications that was got so popular. Yeah, Ajax. I'll go ahead and say Ajax. Ajax. <laughs> Uh, As the French say. <laughs> yes. Ajax. <laughs> oh. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what's going on with you these days. You were most recently, uh, well, not most recently, previous jobs with Position Tech, uh, right. our good friends Jim Staub up in Chicago. Yes. Um, and in fact, you're still based in Chicago. Chicago, right? that's yeah. right. So. Yeah. For many years, worked at Position Tech. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, still obviously love all the guys there. It's great place mm -hmm. to work. It's uh, one of the things that, uh, one of the, as you know, one of the historically significant companies in search marketing. Mm -hmm. And so it was great to be part of all that. Mm -hmm. uh, I do have search return now, and that's, you know, what I've been focusing on and what I plan, you know, to really be uh, out on my own, just a little more independent, that's all. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are you going to be doing on search return? Well, the thing started off sort of as a revival of what was iSearch. Remember iSearch? Yeah. We, we had Marshall Simmons in here. Just, uh, <laughs> oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Did you guys talk iSearch? You bet we did. Well, there you have it. Your you name know? popped up in several several interviews. Well, fantastic. You're going to have to watch them to see. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'll, uh, I'll tune in. And uh, I do know that uh, you know having... Um, Having ice search and how great it was, I haven't yet, you know, been able to pull it around and make it the same. I think with all the blogging and everything that's going on, ice search, an ice search type application, where it's, you know, moderated digest list, email list, isn't something as you know as quick. If you make a post, it's not going to appear on the site right away like it would right. a forum. 
your own forum right. or any other thing, right. including the blogs. Right. So I'll, uh, I'll figure out what exactly to do with that okay. list and make it really useful and something people want to get. Okay, well good. As well, of course, uh, you know, all things search, so. What, uh, what, what's your take on paid inclusion these days? Uh, coming from Position Tech, obviously that's what they were known for. Uh, sure. Which you help manage all kinds of accounts <laughs> and, and sites. So oh, yeah. What's, what's your current take on it? Well, I, I think that you know, the traditional benefits that it always has had still are relevant today. Some of those things don't get as much airtime as you know, what people would be like, well, why pay? You know, just get in for free. Well, what's true is what you get, you do get service. You get you know, the, the refresh rate, the refresh cycle is you know, practically as fast as you can really handle it anyway, uh, or it would be reasonable. Um, so you know, there's a number of things that, uh, for which it would be perfect for sites. If you've got uh, content that you know uh, should be represented in an engine in a timely fashion and maybe pulled from an engine in a timely fashion, you know, the, the, the inclusion services, including the feeds especially, this is the service you're going to want to deploy. So if you're an eBay type site, mm -hmm. right, and you've got things that come online and things that get pulled offline, you know, you're not going to want to say, well, I'm just going to trust myself to the free crawl. You know, this is a paid crawl. So there's a lot of sites for which it is absolutely essential in mm -hmm. a way. For, for their marketing efforts. And there are a lot of sites that also don't have to pay and they get a lot of play by not paying at all and getting great visibility without having to pay any, mm -hmm. any click fees. Excellent. Uh, one of the things we've been talking about with everybody is kind of the state of the health of the uh, search marketing industry. Uh, we've heard some talk, some people think it's peaked, some people think it's just plateaued, the calm before the next storm. Uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's actually been rather interesting. It's been all over the map. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, we got some cheerleaders that say yeah, it's only the beginning baby steps. And <laughs> we got some other people that say it's in the rocking chair. What's your take on it? If it's in the beginning steps, I'm tired of it, <laughs> man. I've been doing this 10 years, right? So this ain't the beginning. <laughs> What's true is there's a lot of upside in search. And that's because, well, you know, frankly, because people like Lemmings have come into the search business, not all of them are really well prepared. Like some of us older folks that have, well, older generation folks in search uh, have the experience that literally, uh, you know, basic, you know, essentially, you know, there's a lot of things that we know that Trump, anybody knew who comes in and tries to be, yeah. yeah. You got I mean, a baseline of history to. Yeah, and we also know the, the uh, you know, that there is plenty of future simply because even people who have been familiar with search all along, you know, may or may not have been able to really, I'd say, deploy the right things and have gotten themselves in trouble or have done it wrong or haven't figured it out or have, you know, I mean, a, a classic example would be if they, you know, figured, you know, they followed one forum posting advice and bought 10,000 different domains and mm -hmm. interlinked them all with a big network of links and then decided to 301 everything and cross their fingers, <laughs> knock on wood. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's people still doing that because you can find that kind of advice online. So you see sorting through the mess of what's true and what's not true, that's where the upside is. Mm -hmm. And certainly search isn't going away. It's going to be a part of the marketing mix moving forward no matter what. Mm -hmm. And it is outgrowing other online marketing uh, practices. Uh, by a little, fat, fat, by a faster clip, by a little bit of an extra percent. Like online marketing overall, I think last year is growing 20 percent. Search is growing 25. So we're 5 percent outgrowing all uh, other online marketing. I mean, you know, don't quote me on that, but <laughs> <laughs> I think that's about the right numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And so I know that search is still growing faster than the other medium, the mm -hmm. other uh, uh, competencies in online marketing. All right, Dalif, we are out of time. I appreciate appreciate you taking <laughs> time. Thanks, Thank you.